it is Tuesday night. We're here for another Football Manager stream, and we are starting. Well, we're finishing um, our first season with Hertha Berlin. We are uh, six league matches away from the end of the season. We are still in the Conference League. We are still in the German Cup, and we are either in for a great night or a terrible one. So let's uh, get on with the save. Let's get on with Herta. We'll, we'll talk later about what the uh, what the uh, next save will be. But let's get on with Herta and see. Let's see if we can actually rescue what was a horrible start to the season uh, and turn this into a decent uh, decent finish for us. So as you can see, we are um, in fifth place. So we're only three points off of the Champions League places and we have a game in hand on mains. So if we win that game in hand, we will at least draw level with them on goal difference. But if we're fortunate enough, we'll get ahead of them. Um, and that could be our foot in the door. Either that or Wolfsburg, Gladbach or mains dropping points over the next six games will do us a great service. We are still in the quarterfinal of the Europa Conference League where we face AZ Alkmaar um, and we're still in the German Cup where we face Stuttgart and a potential final against Bayern Munich. So lots to play for tonight. Let's see how we get on. We may not finish the season tonight but we will certainly give it a try because we beat Wolfsburg. We're in the top four. I think actually there might be four points ahead but we're in a, with a much better chance. We just drag one more team into the uh, into the battle for Champions League places, and it only works in our favour. And that's a good save from Marischal. I've sat here and said I'd be happy giving up one goal in this, but as soon as I saw them through, I regretted saying that because I wouldn't be happy with it at all. But we clear the corner. No one's closing him down, and... Well, last minute we put a block in there, but you can't let a man run into the box unopposed like that. That's shocking defending. Saw someone on Twitter joke about having to set up a, a direct debit to Gillingham just because there's so many good kits that they're releasing and we've not had the third kit yet. So what the, I think what they promised us at the uh, at the end of the season was... Um, traditional for the home and away and something a bit different or a bit new for the third kit so can't wait to see what they come up with part of me part of me is genuinely hoping we have some sort of uh think of 90s kits think of some of the god awful things that came out there part of me wants one just because that'd be quite the collector's item <laughs> And that's, uh, well, that's a random one for me to buy. <laughs> Early 2000s United show with Ronaldo on the back. I suppose if you're going to get one, you're going to get one with the man's name, aren't you? £5 from a charity shop in Rochdale. <laughs> chose offside that's not a goal so uh, what so RP what's your uh, what's your most random shirt I mean Japan 98 goalkeeper shirt is right up there already can you can you top that no, five pound though that's a, that's a hell of a bargain My youngest son has got an Arsenal shirt with uh, the name Alfie on the back that I'm not sure, entirely sure how that entered my house. Um, his name's not Alfie, so I have no idea how he's got it. Well, it might be Albert, one of them. Um, I think it was like a charity shop or something. He just wanted a football shirt. I, I honestly don't know. Galatasaray 2010 away is my most niche. So what's your uh, what's your criteria when you're picking out these uh, these weird and wonderful shirts? Is it are you looking for a particular design? Are you looking for something that you think no one else is likely to have? What's the uh, what's the secret sauce? Oh no, let's not concede to Wolfsburg. Oh. Got slightly excited by the fact we'd managed to uh, to score a goal. 
and just immediately we've given it back. That's a good ball over the top. We look a little bit crowded in the middle there, don't we? But wow, Cho has absolutely smashed that. Now, referee, let's not do anything silly. Two one, come on. It's definitely, I'm definitely feeling some tension with this one, with uh, with the start of the, to the season that we had. Being able to qualify for the Champions League would be massive for me. Is the uh, Japan keeper shirt a, a short sleeved one? So I've got, I've got, I think I've got an England goalkeeper's top which is long sleeved which I used to wear when I played uh, five side football I played in goal unsurprisingly oh that's three two well let's not throw this away now all right we're gonna do a bit of time wasting It's probably going to be like uh, limited editions or special editions, aren't there, that will also cost an arm and a leg. Do you think Real Madrid might go back in for him after after what happened before, though? So we've uh, we've moved the conversation slightly on to uh, and to Mbappe leaving PSG, speculating over where he might go. Oh, so you do wear them, you don't have to keep them uh, framed or uh, in some sort of, uh, yeah, sort of wardrobe dressed in plastic or anything. Oh, we're making hard work of this. I'm getting a bit what I genuinely expect is us to, to breeze through. Probably quite arrogantly, given that we're in a quarter final of a European co competition, but Burke Holt is there, and I think that's perfectly legit linesman's just run off goal if City get Haaland and Mbappe in the same team they're shape just taking the mick at this point yeah you're absolutely right that's two again going into the semi-finals ladies and gentlemen we should offer PSG Harry Maguire and 10 million. No way they'd reject that. <laughs> I don't think they could reject it. They'd be too busy rolling around on the floor laughing. <laughs> and Burke Holt does get his hat trick. Well, we left it late in this one, but we have managed to get the win. And my bold plan to play an absolutely inexperienced second string in the first leg and hope uh, they made it through without uh, losing has paid off and it meant that we did win the Wolfsburg game we've gone and done the job in the second leg here as we hoped and we've now got a cup, court, a sem a cup semi-final we've got a conference league semi-final and we're in the Champions League places it's all coming up hurter so far tonight with any luck, we'll, uh, we will see a trophy lift. Duncan Ferguson, he was a monster. Now, I don't necessarily mean you know, monster in terms of footballing talent. I mean, he was an actual monster. Eh, I mean, a peak Duncan Ferguson, I wouldn't say no. Sometimes a football team needs a right horrible bastard. They do. They need one of them. Especially especially in the lower leagues. Someone who gets in there, gets in the face of opponents, winds them up, puts them off, just completely put, puts them off their game. Makes a huge difference to have someone like that around. Need a goal, please, gents. Oh, 
Oh my god. Uh, there, there is no other explanation in that other than Football Manager needs us not to win this game. In fact, it wants us to lose this game. We're on the 24 game unbeaten road run, and apparently my best fallback, my best defender full stop, has decided that he needs to just put that ball on the penalty spot. Come on, boys. Oh, and Cho has put that one into the top corner. It didn't look like the cleanest of strikes. And the goalkeeper looks like he's had uh, he's had a bad day there, hasn't he? He's had a bad uh, bad time at the office with that one. Looks like he just fumbled that into the net. Oh, my goodness. That gave the farmer too much of space there. But Cho, Adiemi, and I think that should be it. We're not going to VAR, our whole, are we? No, we'll go defensive and we are going to hold on for dear life. Well, 3-1 makes that look like that was quite comfortable. It didn't feel it, not from my seat. Going to Liverpool next week. Do you reckon I should wear my United shirt? <laughs> Mission behind en enemy lines. Um, well, if if you do, if you do wear your United shirt, can you just sort of knock up maybe sort of ten or so e emotes before you go? Not that I think anything will happen, but just in case. <laughs> I suppose it from for me living in London, I see a whole plethora of football shirts around. Honestly, I, I that, no round near where I live, you could you see you see Charlton shirts, but you'll see Chelsea shirts, Arsenal shirts, Tottenham shirts, Liverpool shirts, Man United shirts, just just everyone. Is it really? Do you reckon it's really that bad going to Liverpool in a Man United shirt? It probably is. Actually, <laughs> what am I talking about? Of course it is. Do you see many Liverpool shirts wandering around in Manchester? I've never seen a Liverpool shirt in Manchester except for when they play in Manchester. That makes sense. And Chris Ostamu with number three. I'm not mature at all. Someone threw a penny through the ref's car window. <laughs> that shouldn't make me laugh. Oh, it shouldn't. You know, some, what I found funny about that was, for whatever reason, it was the fact that it was a penny. <laughs> Well, Freiburg are another team that are hovering above the relegation zone, and we really should be doing an awful lot better. It's probably t early 2020 or late 2019. Um, actually, no, I think it was fairly warm, so it was probably summer of 2019, I reckon I went. Uh, I was there just for, for one night. I'd literally turned up at like 8, 9 o'clock in the evening um, and was back on my way to London at about midday after a meeting. Oh, and I think we might just have got a very late breakthrough breakthrough there. Very late breakthrough, even. Speak words, Adam. Ooh. Missed out on Crackhead Craig, then. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one, Chief. Like I, said, I reckon what we do, circular... Um, Stick a club name on top, establish 2023 or something like that on the bottom. And that's our new club badge. The thing I'm finding though is I've never created a club in, in game. Um, and I think the way it works is that you replace an existing club. So I did, I, well, I did, a, little, uh, did a little test and basically a takeover from a club that already exists. You can't replace, unfortunately, say... Um, an under-23 team or a reserve team in the league, you have to replace a, a senior team. So, But if I go into the database editor, I can take them out, whip in a new club, 
um, and do it that way. But I've not not tried that yet. And this is not the start we wanted against Everton. No, I'm going to berate them. I've got Cole Palmer playing for them. Oh dear lord. Two goals. Not disastrous, but not good. And we've just given them that. So Cowboys, who do you support? And do you have an FM save going as well? Oh, I don't like this Junior Adamu. He's upsetting me. Oh, he's really upsetting me. Um... Well, we've got one back. That is good. Let's encourage them. Let's see if we can go and make that two. That's a belter from Kari. He's done a couple of these for us uh, this season. He's definitely scored a couple from outside the box. Now you might say there's a case for me playing him a little bit more frequently. And they had a hell of a re revival as well, didn't they? After they sacked Gerrard, uh, Aston Villa became a completely different team. I don't understand it because I don't know too many people. Well, I don't know anyone who I'd uh, who knows the sport to sit and watch it with. It's a tough one for you to to get into. I think there's quite a quite a burgeoning number of uh, American football fans in this country, which shocked me. And we've conceded an awful goal there, utterly awful. We just palmed that into the side netting. Uh, a bit of a rating. I think if you just look at look at something such as number of European trophies, Real Madrid win that one. Not really. Massive fan base, dedicated fan base. Um, got a stadium that any Premier League club, most European clubs would be proud of uh, in St. James's Park. But does that make them a big club? I don't know. Who do I think is the greatest in football history? Ooh. a lovely ball over the top and that is goal number three it gets hard to keep track of them I quite liked it when it was uh, one, two, three I mean Galaxy, uh, Samsung are even worse okay, yes let's go out and get revenge and I think we're going to change the tactic up before we go into the match I think I'm going to try this um, I'm going to go attacking. It worked against Nuremberg, so why not? Oh, well, that's a good start. No, it's not. The refs had a shocker. No, not even close. Yeah, good pressing there from Bradley. Diamandi now. And that's one. That one's on the side, isn't it, ref? Yes, it is. That's one. I do think we're going to have some, uh, at least a nod to, to Crocs. Crocs in specs. And there's goal number two. We're back in this, ladies and gentlemen. We are... We're level. Okay, we definitely continue with what we're doing now. I've got full faith in your work, mate, because it's been absolutely spot on with the, with the rest of them. Oh, we're ahead. 
Diamande up front has been an absolute star. It was a tactical masterstroke to put him up front alongside Cho. Well, we're into a European final as well. Well, at least in, actually it might just be the last five games I saw. Either way, he's not been, not been as a disaster for a £5 million player. Started a Gillingham FM save. Gillingham's going all the way to the Champions League. Oh, mate. If you, if you do it, oh, I need screenshots. I need the lot. <laughs> like I said, I managed to do it in my offline save, but it's got a big old asterisk next to it because uh, I gave us £50 million. Oh, that's not good. Let's berate them. This isn't the way we want to lose our unbeaten run. Yeah, big old asterisk on mine for that fifty million pounds that I gave my club. Um, cause it just made League Two and League One were just walkovers. When you've got a budget that comparatively is as big as that. Um so I think I think the transfer budget they gave me was like four million pounds in League Two, and that's that's decent money. And my wage budget was um uh very competitive, shall we say. And Diamande scored just by putting him up front again. Maybe that's where I should have had him all along. Maybe that was his position all along. Uh, but yeah, uh, League 2 was an absolute walk. League 1, piece cake. We won them both with uh, games to spare and all. We've conceded. We demand more. Uh, championship. I think we were still predicted something like top 6 when, when we first went up from League 1. Um, and we managed to go up in second place. But yeah, take take down that man's name. Um, <clears throat> if I have the uh, the pleasure to see him in real life, I'll make sure he knows about it. I'll make sure he knows he's disrespected us. I don't care that it's only a game. <laughs> That's why I was thinking about, yeah, I th thought it might be interesting to a press and save. And yes, my six foot six striker has just headed the ball in. Beautiful stuff. Um, yes, yeah, so I was looking at the Preston one and, you know, it's always tempted me, but I know what it's going to be like. They're a, an established championship team. So, it won't take too long to get them into the Premier League. And once you're in the Premier League, you'll fairly quickly progress to, to Europe and eventually into Champions League. Um, and then you've done it and you're like, okay, well, now what? Which is why I always love starting unemployed because you never know where your career is going to take you. So your, your objectives change all the time. Um, so we have last game of the stream, last game of the, the league season as well. We're going to save those cup games for the start of the next stream uh, and hopefully two trophy lifts is the next stream the last hurt of in save uh, stream no uh, so I want to keep this one going until we win the Champions League we've got the Conference League this season I want to win the Champions League and I absolutely well no, I'm not going to say I absolutely want a top flight title. I think it'd be quite interesting to win the Champions League without ever having won a top flight title. It would be nice to win a top division. We've not done it in Sweden. We finished third. We didn't do it with Rangers in Scotland. We finished second. Uh, we're finishing second in Germany as well. Uh, but no, it, won't be, it absolutely won't be the last one. Um, we are going for at least one more season with Hertha. Um, and Oh, that was quite a good move there from Beljo. A little sidestep around our defender there. Oh, can Adeyemi get us a winner here? Yes, he can. Yes, he can. He scored a fair few goals for us since uh, joining us on loan from Juventus.
And in true Football Manager style, we can't sign off with a win. We have to be pegged back. <sighs> Hey-ho. Last game of the season. We'll just take it on the chin. Doesn't impact anything. We'll survive. We've got quite a lot of money there for finishing second in the Bundesliga. Now, that looks like an awful lot more money than we'd get in England. That prize money's huge. Is that realistic? That's incredible. Well, that goes some way to funding a big summer spending spree. It goes, goes all the way to finding a big summer spending spree. But before we do that, we have got two cup finals. We are playing Bayern Munich in the German Cup and we are playing Lazio. I'll add it to the list then, uh, Chief. Uh, and Lazio in the Conference League final as well. So there's plenty to play for next time around. We are ready to raid, so thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, everyone, for joining us tonight. Uh, we'll be back on Thursday night with the uh, conclusion of this season. Hopefully, some trophy lifting, um, and I hope to be able to see you there. Good night, everyone.